Okay, now I'm back again. We're going to test the microwave again. Uh, this is the Kenmore series Kenmore that I thought was going out. Got it out here in the garage. I got, got a new one already. And uh, anyway, I ran it for two minutes and it was fine. I got a bigger pot, Pyrex deal, put water in. This time I'll set it for, uh, I'll do four minutes, I don't want to do too much. And the power level staying in 10, one thing it's always done that has drove us crazy is it's old, it would not stay in parallel to 10, but usually that's between, I don't know when it changes, like, sometimes we thought it might happen if you use a special feature. Uh, it does a lot of different things, it actually has sensing, you know, where it can sense the, uh, moisture in the food and try not to dry it out and stuff. I never, I didn't ever use that. All I did was just hit the time and, you know, put the TV dinner and it wouldn't do that work of crap. It would always be going, when it get in, the, it would go, in power level 8, you could hear it cycling on and off. The fan would get louder and quieter and uh, the food would be uh, cold in the middle and burn on the outside. If it's on 10, it was fine. It's been that way. It's almost a year old now. We got it January 20th, 2016, December 3rd is when we quit using it. 2016 and uh, I'm sure I'm standing up above the camera but so I'm gonna go sit down I'm tired anyway it's about all night it's about probably 8 in the morning now I guess and uh, it's uh, I woke up around I don't even remember anymore 9 30 10 30 11 30 last night Got my schedule it's crazy, but anyway, I did all. I've been doing stuff. Uh, I messed with the new one and figured out how to use the. It has a broiler. It's a microwave and a broiler. Can you believe that? I never saw anything like that before. Anyway, I was messing with it. Well, before I did a lot of stuff on the computer. And then I messed with that about for about four, four thirty. Started doing that, and then uh, <coughs> tested the broiler and ate something. Made me a hot dog and bread all in one all together on one plate in there. It worked, but it's pretty tricky figuring out how long to set it for. So let's see what this does. Right now it's working like it should. Well, that's good. At least it's not blowing up or doing anything. I thought it, it had, uh, we had thought, just, we just knew that it was uh, going out and, you know, that it was drawing a super amount of current. But what it looks like might have been the problem all along was that uh, the uh, somehow at some point I don't know if this did it or the one that we had before it could have even done it the one that it did I'm pretty sure it went out <laughs> I thought it went out it was a used one it lasted about five years now I'm starting to wonder if that one wasn't the microwave uh, but it it got to where it wouldn't cook the food I think it did something it made noises and it. And it, yeah, I believe it made noises. On, you know, you could hear it in the microwave, like something was going out, burning up, or whatever, and it stunk. It didn't smell like burning wires, though. It's a different kind of burnt smell. It didn't smell like a burn. I've smelled many. I've, I've messed, uh, messed. I started uh, learning building maintenance and, and electrical and plumbing and ditch digging and gasoline line water and gas line running gasoline line running and gas natural gas all that junk since 1975 I started learning that and I've done it on and off all my life so got a very you know a varied background and I can easily figure things out but what I always say if it ain't broke I can't fix it and this may not be broke so maybe I it didn't need fixing and it didn't maybe not didn't need replacement I was very upset with it oh, because it gave so much trouble all along. And it might, uh, it could have even, I'm, honestly, it could even have be turning out that it was that, at um, some point, that six way plug got overheated to the point that it rusted. I never seen one rusty like that. I mean, it didn't get water poured on it. It's, it's, in, it's in the living room, and there's no roof leaks or anything like that. And, uh, it's not like it's in the kitchen or the bathroom or anything where it could possibly. And I don't believe anybody spilled a drink way over there on it either, a wall behind all the chairs. I'm not going to stick my finger in there. That's probably pretty darn hot. Yeah, that bowl is too hot to touch. 
So I'm just gonna leave it open. Let it cool down. My other bowl that I warmed up a while ago, that, that warmed up in two minutes. It's still warm. If that was coffee, you could drink it. Makes me want some coffee. Of course, I don't. I don't. Uh, that's not how I make my coffee. I don't want to sit back there where I forget it. I'm trying to figure out what to do with it. Put it over here on the desk, close to me. But uh, uh, don't need a microwave in the garage, though. We don't come out here and eat. Might eat something out here if I'm working and I'm dirty. I might bring something. Go out in the house and get it and bring it out. Uh, guess you could stack them, have two. Look kind of funny, but it, of course you couldn't turn them on both at once. Don't do too much job for darn sure. But I've tested my new my new plug and my new plug-ins on my six-way. I ran it a good long time today and used the broiler and the microwave, but they don't run at the same time. Runs microwave first and then the broiler. I don't know. Microwave's <coughs> a thousand watt and the broiler's fifteen hundred watt. So um, on the other one, not this one. This one's eleven hundred watt. Just microwave. And uh, anyway, that plug never warmed up at all. It's kind of cool in the house because it's a cool night, and uh, it was cool to the touch. I mean, when I go down there and touch it, it felt cool, not not even warm. So it's good. Got my plug problems. I showed them several times. I'm not going to show them again. The pieces where I, that I replaced, I still have them. But uh, I don't think, unless you know, sometimes things are, are are about to go out and they'll work and then not work, work and then not work. So the only way we're going to find out for sure is if we put it back in action. So I don't know what we're going to do. The thing is, I ordered that other one on Amazon and. Um, you can't just, you know, you have to, you end up having to pay shipping unless it's, well, it, I'm, the way it sounds, I'm worried if there is something wrong with it, but, uh, and it did have a big, it just has a plastic film where the numbers are, see, like on this one, well, you know, they all have numbers like that, it had a big gash out of the plastic, I think that, this one may be the same way, but, it has a black background, and then the numbers, it's basically a big clear sticker with numbers printed on it, is what it, I think it is, and, has a big gash out of it, so that it did. That was ag very aggravating. You get something brand new that was like that. First, I thought it might not be new, but if all all the way the box looked and everything, it looked like it had never been opened before. So, I thought it could have been a return. So anyway, even if you could get free shipping, it's still a hassle. Sending it back with something this heavy, twenty five to anywhere between twenty five and fifty dollars to send it back. So that'd be crazy. It only costs eight seventy nine dollars, eighty dollars. This one cost one hundred and twenty nine last year. Now it's seventy eight or something on on the Sears site right now. But in the store, it usually is higher. So. I hear the other one going in the room. Somebody's cooking right now. I hear that one beeping. Those beeps are too loud. And they always beep three times. And you can't. That other one I read in the mirror, you could turn it off. This one, I didn't find any way to turn that stupid beep off. It drove me crazy. You see, you open the door. You used to, the most white ovens, when you open the door, it would stop the beep. But these don't. They keep beeping even when you open the door. Uh, well. I'm just jabbering on. There it is. It works. So maybe uh, all my worries about it being uh, going out and could have been just because of that. Uh, but what caused that? What caused that thing to, uh, to burn? I'm gonna grab it. We're talking about it. And it's a, what in the world caused one leg of that? Where is it? There. What in the world caused one leg of this to burn? That light's on over there. It's hard to find my spot. 
There we go. Okay, so what cause? You can see the other, back one shiny and the dark one's so dark. There, now you can kind of see it. That What caused that to burn? And, of course, then rust. So the rust, it was old enough, you know, when I look at it and look at it and uh, and you can see it. I don't have my, I can do it with this one or not. I've done it with my other one, the one that has a light on it. And I have a light shining from behind me too that's kind of changing everything. But, uh, I don't know if that's helping or hurting. What in the world would cause it to, uh, and it was inside of, at first I didn't, uh, I didn't take it off right away, it was inside of this, um, this is why I don't know, I'm trying to get them to kind of half together, it was inside of that, uh, ground lift adapter. Of course, all the way, it was all the way plugged in, and I, I had to really, I had to get a screwdriver to pry them apart. It was, it had, uh, you know, stuck. I'm sure the plastic had melted some, but also that rust had stuck it. So none of these weren't, you know, good to use anymore. So, uh, and, you know, when we finally realized this is when it got so hot that it started stinking, and, and then when we unplugged it, you know, immediately we saw that plug burned. And then, like I said, and then after we got the new one, I had put it down there to the, the bottom one, and it burned it a little bit. And then I replaced. I didn't think that the thing was coming as quick as it was. They, they said it wasn't coming until Monday, and it came on Saturday. So you know, we naturally we wanted to use it if we could. So we plugged it in. Found out I had to replace it. When I went to replacing the plug, I checked. You know, that's when I finally really checked into everything and check the uh, <coughs> six way especially after it already it caused trouble you know again so if i'd have checked it to start with but I, it didn't flip the breaker it didn't give me any indication i've seen those you know plugs get burned like that before this one's been was burnt like that uh, it wasn't rusty though like that it was just burnt looking but i sanded as much as i could off to use it again that day and when the microwave came i just hurried up and ran a piece of sandpaper and tried to Get the board to use it, <coughs> but, <coughs> but uh, that's pretty unusual. And like I said, I've done building maintenance on and off since 1975, and I haven't seen inside of a of a ground lift a lead inside of a ground lift get burnt and rusty like that. I've seen them burnt once in a while, I think, a little bit burnt, but not like that. So. Something caused that to, to get that hot, though. Uh, something caused it to get hot enough to, to cause it to turn around and rust, you know, to turn and rust like that. And uh, there's no. See how warm this is? It's still too hot to run again. No point in doing it again. I just boil that water over, and that wouldn't be good for anything. So I think I'm still cutting the head off. Uh, I wanted to make sure and get the whole microwave. So, I'm, I don't know, we'll see. So, as far as I can tell, it still works. Only way we know for sure is we just went to really using it again. That's the only thing I can figure. Didn't It, it didn't jump down, it didn't act up. Didn't, I mean, jump down into the lower power level or anything. But we hadn't, you know, like I said, we hadn't tried it again since. The day that the plug started melting, didn't 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 want to dare plug it in and mess up our wiring in the house anymore. But uh, actually, that plug that it's on may be a 20 amp. I, when I was looking in the breaker box a minute, when I was getting in there, get, get ready to change that plug, I had forgotten that most of our we've only most of all of our circuits are 20 amp. We only have like two, maybe three that are 15 amp. I was thinking it was the other way around. I was thinking we had one 20 amp, you know, we had a dryer and stuff, but I mean all the 110 volt ones. I was thinking we had one 20 amp, and that's this one here that I put in down here in the garage to run my welder. 
And I thought maybe the one that I put a new one in for the bathroom to put a heater, exhaust fan and a heater in the bathrooms. And thought it might be 20 amp, but I kind of thought it was really just 15. But it is, I'm pretty sure it's 20. I, I saw that. So anyway, there we go. So we're also, we're running 20 amps. I'm pretty sure, pretty darn sure that the one that we're using is 20 amp. Uh, two. So can't swear to it because I don't have every single one of them labeled. Anyway, it's done. There's the. There's my ram, rambling and tests on the Kenmore microwave. All right, bye.